Spotlight. Focus on the world of the stage and screen, music and the dance, and other areas in the arts. The editor is Fred Weiss. Hello and welcome. Today we turn our spotlight on the first dance company, the New York City Center Robert Joffrey Ballet, to perform at this country's new national park for the performing arts, Wolf Trap Farm Park, just outside of Washington. This young, fresh, exciting, innovative American ballet group has drawn unqualified rave reviews from dance critics around the world, in India, the Middle East, the Soviet Union, England, and Austria, as well as the United States, They've gathered bouquets for their bright, contemporary, holy now quality that captivates audiences. Founder, director, choreographer Robert Joffrey comments. Modern dance is very important. Uh, Martha Graham, uh, Doris Humphrey, Jose Limon, and the younger moderns have contributed a great deal to dance as a whole. And we, as the younger choreographers, have accepted this. It's now part of our background, and we are challenged to move in different ways. And I think it's very important for any artist to represent their time. And it's important that we utilize the music that is being played now, the rock music, I feel. That's one part of it. We feel an emphasis at this moment on the contemporary ballet, the ballet that's being created for our company at this time. Two of the ballets that are in the repertoire now demand the rock musicians. The use of sound is very important, the electronic sound, the amplification of the orchestra to create a certain tension, a dramatic thing in the ballet. And doing a multimedia work, the films are going on, the music is going on, uh, the light show is also part of it. There are many things going on, and there is dancing. Robert Joffrey himself created for the company's repertoire one of the earliest and most famous psychedelic multimedia ballets, Astarta, which they've danced throughout the world. The company's principal choreographer and assistant director, who has contributed a considerable number of works for the repertoire, is Gerald Arpino. Gene Marshall talked with him at Wolf Trap before a performance. Mr. Arpino, the very first season, did you choreograph a great number of works? I remember all of the critics were remarking on how tremendously prolific you were. Well, <clears throat> someone had pointed out to me that I am the only American choreographer that's had about six of his works performed for the presidents of the United States in the White House. Our first, first great visit was with uh, President Kennedy at the White House. And incidentally, this company, the company as you see it now, uh, had its premiere in the White House. That was our first official appearance. I think that's probably a unique experience. We've always dreamed. We started out in a station wagon. You see, Bob and I started out, and there were eight of us. And we toured every state in the United States. We performed everywhere for anyone. Mm -hmm. We were the people's ballet, canvassing the entire United States and making a dream come true. We had to work very hard to make this company. And the critical acclaim that you people have gotten, the company has been called the brightest, the best of the American dance groups. And the, the wonderful quality that you have, I have seen you perform in New York, is, is one of such vitality. You deal almost exclusively, do you not, with contemporary themes? Yes, I do. I like contemporary themes because I feel that as an artist, I'm very in tune with our times, to what is happening in, in every aspect of our way of life. I live in Greenwich Village, and I'm very much always exposed to the latest uh, issues at hand, such as, you know, women's lib, Black Panther movement, the campus activities, you know, I have the NYU marches in front of, in front of my house every day. Then you have, you have all your street singers constantly playing that beat, what they call new music. So I am constantly open. My eyes are open. I keep, the, I keep the company's vision open. They're a very bright company. They're constantly challenging. There's always a, there's an interplay between us all the time. And out of this, out of this company, I hope the world will see new directors, new visions in which all people will share and, and enjoy because this is the way they think. This is the way they dance. No matter what country we go to, Russia, Vienna, London, uh, India, wherever we go, there's this great rapport and, and this exchange of love between us through the dance. And I think this is what I like to express. This is what I hope I will achieve choreographically more than anything else is to touch the people of the world with 
a mood, a word, a phrase that we create. This evening we're going to see clowns. First, to what kind of music has it been created? And secondly, a bit of the theme and what you attempted to do in that. I am looking forward to it. Well, Clowns was a commissioned score. Hershey K worked in conjunction with me as I created the ballet. This is the first ballet of its kind that I've worked in this way. In other words, the composer came every day. I had two young American sculptors who worked in plastics. It is a, it is a multimedia in which I use the plastic sculptures. In other words, I take the toy balloon, which is the first way of capturing space. And then I enlarge it into huge pillows, which then turn into guns and means of destruction. Because now, since we've dropped the A-bomb, we, we rest on that cushion that a total war would be a complete devastation. And so man in this ballet is represented in the form of a clown. There's a cl bit of clown in all of us. And so you'll see a rain of clowns that, that come down from the skies in the opening. And in it, I wanted to show, through the symbol of the one main clown who survives, man's awakening to himself, the destructive thing that's within him, and unless he conquers it, he has a, a sad fate ahead of him. Thing. And are there any other ballets that you've created that have different themes that you'd like to talk about? I like Trinity very much. Now that's the ballet that's very much for our turned on young generation. Yes, because I think the rock music, I mean, in Trinity is a three part suite in which the classical orchestra and the rock band are joined. And I have Christian Holder, my tall, tall black dancer whom I adore. And of course, Christian does the lead in Trinity. And in the end, out of all the energy that is expected bended throughout the valley. It's a valley of great energy, great vitality. Uh, they break at the seams, the dancers do, and they, they extol their, their passion for love and communal feeling. And in the end, the only thing they, they wish to do, and this came, out of them, this came out of their feeling. This was a ballet that I created through the interchange of feelings between my dancers and myself. And in the end, the only way they wish to express themselves is to, lead a, to leave a light of themselves in the world, because that's all we can do, isn't it? It's to leave some little light of ourselves, and they place their, their, their votive candles on the stage after having just torn the stage to pieces in their rock, a ritualistic celebration. They quietly place the candle of their souls on the stage and leave and leaving us to hear the heartbeat of what was once their uh, token of peace, you see. It's just I lovely. Know. And what are your future plans? Well, I, you know, I, I, like, I like the electronic scores. I like the tape. It's that sort of medium that I like. Oh, an interesting thing, since we are at Wolf Trap, and uh, I find this one of the most exciting uh, theaters to be in. This outdoor theater, to me, uh, being surrounded by the wood and the smell of the wood. I don't know, it's the smell that, <laughs> that inspires me that I think my next ballet will probably have sense. You know, I think mm -hmm. out, out of being here will come my next work, which I've always wanted to do anyway, which was I want to do a multimedia thing in which employ the sense of, of uh, fragrances and so forth to stir the imagination. We have much to do, but we, the spirit, the spirit is indomitable in the company. And it's, it's so vital. It's what dance should mean, which is to communicate. Choreographer Gerald Arpino of the Joffrey Ballet in a conversation with Gene Marshall. So long for now. See you next time. This has been Spotlight, presented each Tuesday and Thursday at this time on VOA. The editor was Fred Weiss.